Hello, I'm Anna Maria and I'm one of the decorators at Planet Cake and today I will show you how to cover a cake. This is a nine round chocolate cake. The first step we do for that is to brush it with syrup. This is just um, one part of apricot jam to two parts of water. The reason we do this is to make the icing stick onto the cake. So we go all round. It's quite important not to put too much syrup, otherwise it's going to leak through and it's going to be more difficult for you to cover the cake. Once we've brushed the whole cake, we keep it on the side. We use RTR, which is ready to roll, plastic icing. For that amount of cake, I need about 750 grams, which in my cake, I need ivory. I have colored prior to this filming. I'm now kneading the icing to a pliable consistency. It's important to have it soft and smooth so we don't get cracks. If you over knead the icing you get other problems which it could crack as well. So it's quite important to find the right middle way. When we knead we use a little bit corn flour, very little. That'll do for the whole cake. Once the icing is in a soft consistency, I'll make it flat, which saves me some time to roll. Now we start rolling. You always tend to roll from the center out. And if it's a round cake, I try to get a perfect round. Uh, roll about three times and I keep on turning my icing and as you can see I have hardly any corn flour on top of the icing. The reason for that is if we roll a dark colored icing the corn flour will stain the icing and it will be almost impossible to get that stain off. I try to get the icing to about 3 mm thick and keep on turning it. If it gets a bit sticky, I have to apply a little bit corn flour. For a beginner, it's quite good to use a measure tape if you have never covered a cake. This cake is nine inches across, actually 10, and it's about four high, so that means my icing needs to be at least 18 inches. So I'm not quite there. This process should be, should be not taking too long. If it's too slow, the icing will dry out. Now, that looks like three millimeters, maybe just a little bit thicker here. It's quite important that we check all the sides because sometimes we don't roll even. Now it feels very even. You just lift the icing a little bit to make sure it's not sticking. We roll the icing onto the rolling bin. Now, just over the cake. You have to make sure that the icing is long enough. And the first thing we do is secure the edges, which I just did now. If you don't secure the edges first, the icing may rip off due to the weight. And now it's just a matter of getting the icing pressed down to the cake. I do this by just keeping 
keep on turning and folding the icing out. So, once I'm at that stage, I take the smoothers, they're made out of perspex, and we cut on a right angle, we mark it all around. The next step is to take a knife. This one here is a non-stick plastic knife, but you can use any other knife. And very close to the cake, we cut around. The leftover icing, we have to keep straight away in the plastic, otherwise it gets cracks. The next step is to, st to smooth the icing onto the cake by using the smoothers. Once the side is done, I go onto the cake. I hold the smoother on my left hand tight to the cake and with the right smoother I go very close to it and that way we get a professional sharp edge. If you wish to have a rounded edge, you don't have to do that. The last step is to go over with your fingers, with your hands and if you can feel any air bubbles there is one here. Take a pin and you remove it. There's one more. And that's it. Voila. There you got a professional covered cake.